Okay, there we go. And yes, we are back again with Mass Effect. This is going to be episode 5, where I actually go to Navaria, as opposed to joke about it and uh, do other stuff in first. Let's jump back in, get our favorite loading screen here, and uh, let's see, I think I was still at the Citadel, just on the ship. Yeah, here we go. Let's see, can I update, or... No, nothing there. I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. <laughs> I don't blame you for blowing her off. She should have made a request through channels. I have PR people doing spin control, a little memetic engineering, and people will forget about this in a week. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Hmm. Maybe I should have been nicer, but, uh, nah, I'm good. I never like her. All right, Navaria, let's go. Let's see what's going on over here. Well, looks like I'm going to PAX for the first time ever. around here worth noting? Nope. Nope. Hey, look at that Matrix writings. Gummy. All right, Navaria, let's do this. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access requested, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. I'd like to see them try. Bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. All right, let's go see the welcome wagon. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. And ten bucks says we get shot at really quick here. Okay, you scan me. Whoop dee doo. Okay, people over there seem nice. No one's shooting yet, that's a plus. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival, I need your credentials. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, ma'am. 
I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. <laughs> no, not gonna happen. Don't try it. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. Damn right. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Yeah, that's all based on whatever you guys do. If you're jerks, guess what? We're gonna have issues. Get out of here. I should probably not shoot everybody I see. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Fine. Ooh, stuff and things. Nope, nothing over there. This is a weird computer. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissing your security chief's coffee today? <laughs> she takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Jerks. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Speaking of artificial Has intelligence... Has unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tassoni along. She knows her mother better than any of us. <sighs> Fine, Karis. I'll go get her. It's a good idea. A good commander listens to his crew. Or her crew, in this case. Oh, please let me just, like, switch out. Oh, wrong door. Please let me just switch someone out as opposed to having to go in and back out. Please. If anything, I'll get to set the alarm off again, though. That was fun. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. At least it looks cool. Logged. Okay, we're still gonna take Garrus with us though. Because why not? Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. And we're running. Come 
Come on, alarms. Ah, boo. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Uh, let's see what's going on around here. The managers warned us about you. Fine. I know who the first one to die is going to be. Hey, hey! This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Sure. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do you a favor first, right then now. check back because one awaits you. probably get a discount. And take the elevator again. Oh, so many elevators. Not even decent elevator music in this one. Get that package. It's funny. Yeah, I decided that I'd play this game. I'll renegade and everything. Well, I didn't decide, but, you know, internet did. But, uh, this one I would do on my own because those people are jerks. Okay, guess what? Guess what? I'll be keeping my eye on <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? I'm smuggling. Uh -huh. Good day, Commander. I trust you are behaving yourself? Not mixing yourself up in any questionable activities? I don't generally get involved in that sort of thing. No, of course. I thought you'd be too intelligent for such a thing. If you were, I would have to recite some tedious speech, then ask you to leave. Just so we understand each other. Why are you still here? Are you guarding my ship? All of the companies have secrets. Some of them deal in things that are not quite legal. Having a Spectre here makes them nervous. Analea Sama is buried under petitions to kick you off world. So you're waiting here in case he makes that decision? It would be more accurate to say we are here to prevent incidents between employees and your crew. Tell me about yourself. You first. I'm just a security guard. I heard that there were no human specters. How did you get that job? They're throwing humanity a bone to shut us up about the problems in the Traverse. <laughs> Their answer to the lawlessness is to make one of us a specter and tell us to fix it ourselves? <laughs> I bet the Terra Firma party is having a field day with this. I served in the Marines for a decade, mustered out and went private sector. I was under fire a few times, so I ended up leading this detail. Well, that's good to know. There are guards everywhere. 
Are there that many problems here? I'm sure Parasini-san gave you the ultra-special blah-blah about business here. Everyone wants to be protected from everyone else, but everyone also thinks they have a special right to kick over everyone else. Don't they have their own security forces? <sighs> Everything from hackers to mercenaries. They have investments to protect, after all. But we are the only ones allowed to bear arms. Which is why the companies constantly try to bribe my people. I have a clear policy against freelancing. Anyone who works on the side is fired. Your job is preventing problems, not solving them. Most of my job is diplomacy. Two corps start yelling at each other, my people walk in, flash some ceramic, and they start talking civilly. If there is anything this job has taught me, it's how to be impartial. I'll be moving on. Very good, Commander. Please stay out of trouble. Yeah, I still don't mind smuggling. You're a jerk. Did I say smuggling? I meant snuggling. Definitely not smuggling here. Nope. Mr. Hanar, here's your box. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits you know, I really don't be most know. appropriate. You're trying to make me laugh. You think I'm here to amuse you? To make funny sputtering noises when you offer an insult instead of a reward? N no. This one would never... This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. Yeah, you better give me a good deal. I assumed all the risk. If that's the best you can do, fine. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Now give me a discount. Show me what you're selling. Of course. Oh, everything's so expensive. Can't even get the Metagel upgrade? Ugh. Oh. Oops. How may this one assist? Show me what you're selling. Of course. How may this one assist? Show me what you're selling. Of course. Nice if I didn't have to back out all the way. Hmm. It's a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, that actually seems to be pretty good. 10,000. That's almost all my money. Guess what, Garrus? You are getting the discount. Oh, hello.
Hey, it looks cooler at least. This one back. Show me what you're selling. Of course. Uh, show me what you're buying. Man, I seem to remember having a lot more money when I played other times. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Fine, don't talk to me. See if I care. Seriously, everyone here is a jerk. Oh, look, a car must be the garage. asking don't worry I'm not out to put a slug in your head I used to be a military tech except for my egos people everyone's too corporate here they just sit around sipping expensive water so what can I do for you today how can I get into the garage you need a pass you can get one from Analeas or the managers if you can polish enough gizzard maybe you could let me borrow yours Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas. And the Matriarch came through. Hmm. Do you know where that Matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices, quiet-like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. I got a train with me. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. I like that guy. What's over here? Nothing but wall. Sometimes people who design these things in games just don't make them, like, very real-world aesthetic. But I guess, like, having random walls all around... I've seen that in, like, malls and stuff, but... Eh. I don't want to talk to... And that is a car alarm going off. Don't know if you can hear it. Nope. Not going in the elevator. <laughs> not if I can help it. I'm stuck with the elevator, aren't I? You know, if you're placed as a blizzard outside and everything, they have a lot of water features. Yep, see another wall in front of a wall. Weird. Oh, but then again, I. I kind of forgot this is a cover based shooter, so of course there's going to be walls everywhere. Hey there. How can I help you? I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. 
We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. What kind of weather cuts modern communications? A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. What corporations work on Peak 15? Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. So, everyone shut up and keep your heads down? Loose lips sink third quarter profits. You have a more blunt way of speaking than is common here, Commander. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? Ooh. BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Analeas. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Funny thing about humans, we're pretty loyal to our home world. My home world is clean. Poverty is non-existent. If you take some perverse pride in that overheated, acid-washed slum, that is your business. Oh, this greeting is a courtesy. Like I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Mm, that's good with that. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation. Really? Just one of the various backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Is there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. Things will return to normal in a few days. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos, you didn't think that odd. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Hmm. Well, let's just ask about Synthetic Insights. Why is Synthetic Insights closed? I have placed Laura Keene, the manager of the Hanshan office, under internal review. I cannot comment further at this time. I guess that's everything. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. You know what? Screw you, buddy. I'm gonna come back at some point and open up that wall safe. Jerk.
Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel Ooh. bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeus. How large are the facilities here? We Ugh. have 17 research. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. I have a feeling that there's something else going on with you. And it's totally because I've played this game before. Well, you know what? First of all, these always remind me of those sit down arcade machines from, like, back in the late 80s. Star Wars one was the best. Maybe Afterburner after that. But the moving Afterburner one, that one was awesome. Alright, elevator time to the hotel. Yeehaw. music. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my real intentions. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Oh, Thessia. The town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos to be specific. Yep, they have. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. 500's not bad, apparently. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Okay. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Uh, hi, Mr. Vargas. I want to buy stuff from you. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Eng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement. a weird forehead. To take. 
You can maximize the odds, but every strand it's of like DNA giant. is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting. Like his hair is like in CG a, muscle degeneracy. Gosh, I don't know. Like Mars a big brain sticking out. Speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits oh. per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That's the commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. Why not? I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business. Uh, I don't think you're going to be looking forward too much longer. <laughs> Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I need more. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Nice. So apparently Good being mean has gotten me an extra 500 credits today. Let's not talk to you yet. Let's see what else is going on here. Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down. You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Well, fine, don't talk to me. I'm used to that around here. absolutely nothing of value in here. That's not a stinger. What's going on up here? I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Of course. Hang up. Elder brother? It's me. I'm on the very end. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real time from the troopers. Do you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insights. The manager, Laura Keane, he got caught with his toes wet. The office is closed by the actions of the Well, hello. Beat it. Why? That blizzard outside looks like it's settling. I said beat it! Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Go find something else to do, stupid mammal. Okay, fine. Need to put some more points in decryption. Oh, somehow I disabled their security. Nice. Oh, telling me. Hey, buddy. If you don't stop poking me, I'll throw you off that balcony. Really? Beat it. I said beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Back to the mission. Hmm. I wonder if I can tell him what I did. Commander Shepard? I guess not. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? 
Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm Commander Shepard of the Systems Alliance Navy. It's too late for cover-ups, Commander. Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights Office. Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. Oh no! The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeas? Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Eh, we'll see. Yay, elevator time! Not even a word to each other. It's like they're not even friends anymore. I guess not. I mean, this is the first time Liara's gone out. Hey, Lee, what's up? Mind us, just taking an elevator. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to kill everybody in here. Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What do you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. Everything the Commander has said is true. I'd step aside if I were you. He ain't paying me enough to take on Spectres or Alliance troops or whatever. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Get out.
everyone? I think it might be. I got through that pretty unscathed. That was a nice little upgrade. Ooh, well, not too bad, but hey, it's something. Dude's office is upstairs. Shotgun, 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 sniper rifle. All right, upstairs we go. First time through here, I always thought I could just walk right up all of those ramps. Nope, not stairs. Funny, this looks exactly like that other place. The hotel. Oops. that there's going to be more people here. Yep, there she is. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm going to let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeus would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. You talk the talk. Let's see if you walk after a That's right, you are dead now. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have just done that. Jeez, these guys are really bad. Someone found you. You've got the hot ground, Anakin. Maybe not. Maybe it's coming up. Oh, that made it a lot easier. 
heavy human armor. Too bad I don't have a heavy human. That's everything here. Let's head back to Analeas. Uh, everybody's favorite elevator. The one that does nothing. Like, I wish you could, oh, I don't know, upgrade talent points and stuff like that while you're in the elevator. I mean, that'd be nice, right? me so you get first aid. I wish I took medium armor. I like anything really. Uh, let's see if there's any sort of upgrades. Oh, that's kind of an upgrade. Radioactive rounds two. Let's switch you to three. Combat sensor two. These palladium rounds that I'm really looking forward to, because let's just shred everybody. Let's see. This whole juggling of weapons thing gets old. Alright, good enough. Oh, with all that time in. Oh. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Okay, I can do that. So, Leora, how do you like being an Asari? Well, Garrus, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm blue, I can make things fly around, it's a lot of fun. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. You sure? Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one Because, you know, today it's still like 500. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. 
You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? I can produce a copy of Analeas' pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. You don't need large sums. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. I, I, I didn't say no. I said I'd think about it. Jeez. But the thing is, Laura Keen, she's right. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Ah. Very well. I will testify. Yay. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. All right, let's go down the elevator, guys. Woo! So, Garrus, what was it like in Cizek? I was a cop. I went around and caught a whole bunch of villains. They are rather nefarious, but unfortunately it is corrupt. I joining Shepard because it's better that way. Wow, Garrus, you're my hero. Hey, guess what? I'm back. Got good news and bad news. Good news is he's gonna testify. Bad news is that I really want more money. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be alright. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. Well, thank you. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. Oh, I can totally help. This is an outrage! I'll see that you never work in this sector again! Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! Oh, that was uncalled for. You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Nice. Well, I guess no cash isn't too bad if I get a beer out of it. Oops. <laughs> hey, wall safe. How's it going? Oh, I thought there'd be money in there. Oh well. All right, we got our garage pass. Mind me. Your boss totally didn't just get arrested because of me. Nope. It's cool.
Hey Lee, how's it going? I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? That was an internal affairs investigator working for the executive board. Totally yeah. wasn't me. Internal affairs inspectors all at once, eh? Analytics is having a bad week. Oh, well, you could say that. So what can I do for you today? I have to go. You need anything? I'll be. All right, let me through. Sign got me a pass. Access to the garage is restricted. Yeah, I have a pass. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Aleuts Valley. Well, thank you. All right. That's where we're going to end it tonight because we are going to be leaving the station soon. So thanks for joining me. Hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, I don't know. Adventure is out there. Bye, everybody.